contigo. Hola, Cricket. Dios nos perdona y nos restaura. Mover los brazos. Hey, Cricket. This is Miss Luz. Hola, soy Luz Escobar. Welcome back to day three of our Super Speaking Spanish Workshop. I am so excited that you're joining me today because today we are going to learn how to play with our friends. Do you like playing outside? Do you like playing games with your friends? That's one of the things that God wants us to do is have time with our friends and fellowship. In John 15, 12, it says, This is my command. Love one another as I have loved you. In Spanish is, este es mi mandamiento, que se amen los unos a los otros como yo les he mandado. We're called to love God and love others, but how do we do that? Let's watch this video so that we can find out. Do you have something that's valuable to you? Maybe you have an old teddy bear that you slept with when you were a baby or a Bible that belonged to your grandfather. Those things are important and special to you. Did you know that God values you? You are important and special to God. Let's ask some kids what they know about God and people. Why are people important to God? They're each their children and they're his children and he loves every one of them. Um, because he loves us and he created all of us. People are important to God because they're his only creation that can speak and move the exact way that we can do, and they're all unique. Humans are God's greatest creation. What can you do to make someone feel special or important? Well, you can pray over them or for them. You can give them a gift. You can say something encouraging. Help them read the Bible. You can pray with them, pray for them. I mean, just small things like writing them notes, like notes that make them feel good about themselves, talking to them. To make someone feel special and important, it might be um, just a simple hug or just a smile that says, I know you're there and I care for you. And if you want to make someone feel special and important, you could just tell them how much they're loved and who they are in Jesus Christ and um, just how much they really matter and are cared for. Every person is valuable to God and Jesus. The Bible says that God created all people and knows them by name. He even knows the number of hairs on their heads. Before you were born, God knew all about you. God knew that you'd have curly red hair and freckles. He knew your skin would be dark and your smile would be amazing. He knew you'd be great at math, but struggle with science. No one knows you as well as God does. You are so special to him. Each person is unique and of value to God. God wants you to value all people too. You can make a person feel special, smile and say, hello, hold the door, offer to help and be a friend. No matter who the person is, you can see value in him because God created and loves them. Loving others and treating others fair matters to God. He wants us to love others and put others first from the bottom of your heart. Even though they don't speak the same language, he still wants you to try. He wants us to be friends with everyone. So today, we're going to learn just that. I have a special guest with me today, and I'm going to invite him to come on in. This is my husband, Byron. Hola, Cricket. And if you guys remember, my husband is from Mexico, and he was just like me when I came to. He didn't know English, but he started learning different phrases and different things to say in English. So in Mexico, he played a lot of different games, like canicas, trompos, and tazos. One of his favorite things to do was play football. I know what you're thinking. American football? Nope. In Spanish, football means soccer. So he's going to show us today a couple of tricks so that you can show your friends. The first one is Vuelta al Mundo. Good job. The second one is Dominales. And it's basically you trying to dominate the ball with your foot and keeping it so it doesn't fall. 
And the last one is my favorite. It's called penales, which means penalty shots. Let's see if he can get one past me. Oh, not today. Great job. Qué divertido. Wow, wasn't that fun? So, crickets, ¿quieren jugar un juego que se llama gatito? Okay, let's see what Mr. Byron is going to show us. Oh, it's tic-tac-toe. Isn't it amazing that even though it's called El Gatito in Spanish, it's still the same game in English. So let's see if we can beat Mr. Byron at a game of tic-tac-toe. Ready? Let's get started. Okay, Greek kids, I'm going to put mine here. Okay, we're going to block him. Oh, looks like we won. Great job, Greek kids. Let's learn our memory verse together. It's in John 15, 12. This is my command. Love one another as I have loved you. Este es mi mandamiento. Que se amen unos a los otros como yo los he amado. Qué fantástico. Great job. What a fantastic day. Thanks for joining us, Greek kids. Adios.